virtual camp. Stop recording checkbox check. Lost in blindness CC and D1. Zero. Nine. Item view list. Lost in blindness. Stop FBI5. Lost in blindness. Lost in Blindness is a game adapted to the visually impaired. For full user experience, use headphones to hear sounds coming from the left, the right, and all around you. Main Menu New Game Use Dreamer Mode, Options, and Accessibility. Press Enter to confirm. Press Backspace to go back. Chapters Credits Leave Game New Game Streamer Mode Chapters Streamer Mode Enable Streamer Mode Do you want to activate Streamer Mode? It will allow the viewers to see your screen when you play live while blindfolded. Press Enter to enable or disable the Streamer Mode. Main Menu New Game Streamer Mode Option Enables Disable and Enable Streamer Mode Do you want to active Streamer Mode Enabled? Disable full screen mode. Enable keyboard controls. Keyboard controls enabled. Disable streamer mode. Disable keyboard. Disable full screen. Disable streamer mode. Main menu. New game. Streamer mode. Chapters. Select the chapter you want to play. Chapter Chapter 1. An old friend. Main menu. New dream chapter. Credits. Leave game. Credits. Thank you for playing Lost in Blindness, developed with passion by the member of Unseen Interactive, Florian Noir, Thomas Pilling, and Hugo Villazzolti. As Alex, Blake Farah, as Laura, Rachel May, as a taxi driver, Michael Berry, as a militia leader, Tim Wells, as Thiago, Pedro Daer, in various minor roles, Jessica Ellen Jacobs, Luke Demain, Alt Zavi, and for all the game menus, Brian Michael Connolly. Localization, Diane Clarissou, and Julien Alexandri. Thanks to Loïc Bernaro, Sandra Bernaro, Antoine Allo, Eloi Fromanger Gonin, to our dear playtasters, as well as Magla, Inae, Kira, Master Snaku, Seros, Karal, Farod, Super Brioche, Zampil, Legacy Angel, and all the video games fans who played Lost in Blindness, sharing it with their communities. Also, special thanks to the hundreds of people who contributed to our crowdfunding, it's you that made this adventure possible. Your participation allows the visual impaired to discover an adventure entirely adapted to them, while it is also a chance for sighted people to enjoy a social and highly unusual experience. Main Menu New Game During the game, press Escape to pause the game. Son of a bitch! Press the W, A, S, D keys to walk. Press the arrow keys to move the camera. Hello. Uh, hey, it's Laura. Laura? I'm sorry to bother you, but... <laughs> it's been years. Yeah, almost six. <laughs> uh, how are you doing? Press enter to answer positively and backspace to answer negatively to the question asked. I'm doing fine. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't expect to have you on the phone. I never thought I'd hear from you again. That's all. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Time flew by since we went to Panama, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like we got back only a few months ago. I know, right? Oh, it feels like yesterday, though. For me, too. But... Not exactly for the right reasons. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> Remember how you struggled tracing Francois Lalonne? <sighs> but then when we found him, you were so excited you couldn't sit still. <laughs> but then, I think back to when you... <laughs> Can't keep up with me, can you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, keep laughing, Bear Grylls. You're too much. 
Come on, we're almost there. You see that big rock over there? Ah, oh, damn. That was the only path indicated on the map. Hey, look. There's another path over here. Uh, what about the ravine below? If we slip and fall, uh, there is no way we can survive. We've been walking for two days straight. We can't turn back now. But it's just too risky. Oh, come on. Follow me. I'll lead the way. Be careful. It's fine. Almost there. Yep. Oh, 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 shit! Alex! No! I feel so bad about letting you go ahead. I had such a bad feeling about it. I shouldn't have let you do that. And when... When I saw your foot starting to slip... I already I... told you. I'm the one to blame. I was being reckless, so I fell and I became blind. What's done is done. It's not your fault. But... You didn't call me for the first time in six years just to go on about this, did you? Ah, uh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin your day. I wanted to know what you were up to. And also to tell you that I discovered something crazy about the Mayas. I thought you'd be interested. <sighs> I read on the internet that severe droughts led to the fall of the Mayas, but you read my thesis. I'm not I'm sure talking that- talking about something even bigger! Like what? Well... I have this Brazilian friend who's part of an organization fighting against deforestation. He called me yesterday. Apparently, they found a Mayan temple at the heart of the Amazonia. Can you believe it? A Mayan temple! I mean, <laughs> it's about a thousand miles from where they lived. That's the amazing part, right? I cannot wrap my head around this. <laughs> I wish I could see it for myself. that I'm going there soon and that I've made plans so that you can come with me. For real? Yeah. I figured you might want to go. But I admit, I also need your expertise on this. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> so, when do we leave exactly? Uh, <laughs> actually, I'm already in the nearest city, Bola Vista. You'll have to join me there, if that's okay with you. Yeah. I'll manage. Great. Uh, you already have a driver coming to take you to the airport, along with a small gift. <laughs> uh, you don't like wasting time, do you? And thanks in advance for the gift. No worries. I'm so excited you're coming with me. Hey, hold on a sec. There's someone knocking on the door. Coming! Oh, must be your driver. Yeah, must be. Okay, I've got to go. I'll see you when I get there. That's right. Bye. Bye. I'll be there in two seconds. Hello, Mr. Riley? That's me. He was called to drive you to the airport and hand you a package from Ms. Miller. Yes. Can you put it on the desk, please? Right next to the hamster cage. There you go. We need to be there by 6 p.m. It's about an hour drive, so I can pick you around 5. Press Enter to answer positively, and Backspace to answer negatively to the question asked. Perfect. Will do. Can you close the door behind me? Of course. See you soon. I'm coming, Gypsy! So, what's the gift? What can it be? Is it fresh new straw for you? Wait a second. It's a beacon. Oh, <laughs> so cool! Okay, Gypsy. The neighbors are going to take care of you for a few days, okay? Now... Let's get packing and head out to Brazil! Press Backspace to change the view shared in streamer mode. Press Enter to go to the next level. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Isabella and I'm your chief flight attendant. On behalf of the captain and the entire crew, welcome on board flight LA-9375. Your cabin crew is here to ensure you have an enjoyable flight to Boa Vista. Our flight time will be 12 hours. 12 the hours? The are ideal above the Atlantic. Enjoy your flight. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the crew, I ask that you please direct your attention to the screens above as we review the emergency procedure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The exit closest to you, oxygen masks will drop, emergency evacuation. I know the drill. Now, let's play. Runner Sound 3D New Game Leave Game New Game 
During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. Over. Three, two, one, go! Victory! That was so cool. <laughs> I cannot wait for them to make audio-based games. <sighs> I'm exhausted. Some music, and then nap time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just been cleared for landing at the Boa Vista Airport. The temperature is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. For now, it is sunny, but the weather forecast predicts that in a few hours, the temperatures will drop, creating a stormy weather. Please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened until the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign. On behalf of the entire crew, we would like to thank you for choosing us, and we look forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day! Senor, what? Taxi? Oh, see. Si. Get in. Thanks. Where do I drop off the tourist? Here. The address is on the paper. Can you read it to me? <laughs> uh, I think that's going to be a bit difficult for me. Oh, sorry. I didn't notice. <clears throat> so, we're going to the bar downtown, right? No idea. I'm just on my way to meet a friend as fast as possible. I see. It is bad? Oh no, quite the opposite. A bon? <laughs> no, not that I know of. So, what's so urgent for you to get there without knowing where you go? It's... it's work. Hmm, okay. What do you do? Let's say I'm an archaeologist. So, what do you come to dig up? Roots? Are you serious? I bet you picture the forest like in the movies, with dangerous species, isolated tribes. Well, isn't it like that? Not really. More like trees everywhere and cities that can't grow. Anyway, enjoy while you can. In a year or two, the forest will be a different place. Who knows? Maybe it won't. You think? <laughs> Billions of reals at stake. So a company like Arambe Wood is not likely to let go of this area. Who said there would be a choice? What do you mean? Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about anyway. No, but I feel like you know exactly what you're talking about. I'm sorry. I, uh, I can't say anything more about it. Yes, of course. I can keep secret. It's okay. No way. Are we close? I'm just a taxi driver. You don't risk much telling me. What's your name? Why do you want to know my name? Are we there yet? Calm. I drop you off at the intersection. Road is closed because of the market. And how do I get to the bar? You walk back to the market and it's the street on your right. Mm. 
Explain what you're doing here. Hey, what the? Hey, open the door. Answer. Fuck. Are you kidding me? You want to find your friend? Okay. We found a temple in the forest. It might be Mayan. Don't care about this. What this has to do with Harambi Wood business? It would make the forest a protected area. What? Let me out. Get out. All right. Hurry. All right. Before I close again. <sighs> what the hell was that? <sighs> okay. I've got to find Laura. Use echolocation to help you find your way. Press the spacebar to create an echo. The longer it takes for the echo to hit a wall, the farther Alex stands from the wall. When the echo comes back quickly, it means the wall is close. Give it a try on the wall in front of you. It doesn't take long to hit the wall, meaning it is near. Now, turn around and face the person juggling with the ball. Create a new echo. It takes a long time to hit the wall, meaning the obstacle is far from you. You can now use the echo. The striker is near the penalty area. He shoots, he scores! you are talking to me like that was he pissed for real <laughs> you know i'm playing tough you know but i'm freaking out <laughs> <laughs> next thing you know the guy stands three feet from me and i know i just know he's gonna sucker punch me right Ooh. he swings his arm to hit me and then bird shit right between the eyes <laughs> and what did he do after that <laughs> he just he just stops dead and he squints to see what it was saved by a bird <laughs> <laughs> and guess what the guy was so livid he left instantly not a word nothing <laughs> hey you lost yeah i'm looking for a bar you hear that guy knocking on the door it's that way thanks Here. How are you? Good. How about you? How was the trip? Just fine. I'm glad I got here in one piece. In one piece? Do you mean with your flight? No, the flight was all right. It's the taxi driver that got me here. It was weird, man. <sighs> Seriously? I sent a member of the organization to get you. <sighs> the taxi drivers are usually up to no good here. I don't know, but he freaked me out real good. I'm so sorry. Come, let's find you a seat. Poor thing. Okay. Tiago should be here any minute. Tiago? Yeah. He's the friend I told you about. The one in the organization that discovered this... temple. Why do you keep your voice down? The companies in charge of deforestation are the biggest employers in this area. And they're not known for their diplomatic approach. Oh. Okay, I see. What's wrong? You look so pale. Let me get you a drink. It will make you feel better. Yeah, <laughs> why not? You have to taste the local specialty. Oh, it's called the cachaça. Well, I guess I do need to discover the local culture. Uh, Joel, dois cachaça, por favor. A true Brazilian. <laughs> yeah, right? I've got to work on the accent, but, you know. 
Um, hey, I don't mean to be that guy, but um, I was thinking about our call yesterday. <laughs> so? Why haven't you called sooner? It's been six years. What happened to you? Um, I'll keep it short because you're in for a ride. Well, since we came back from the Caribbean, I had personal stuff to deal with. Obrigado, Joel. Personal stuff? Yeah, um, it's a bit more difficult than that, but... Hey, Laura. Hey, we were waiting for you. Alex, this is Chianco. Hi, Alex, and welcome to Boa Vista. Thanks a lot. Here, I got a little something as a welcoming gift. You didn't. <laughs> you shouldn't have. I came here empty-handed. You came all this way to help us. It's the least I could do. Go on, open it. Hmm, what is that? A watch? Gloves. It's a sound beacon. Oh, it is such an amazing gift. Oh, you should try it. Press the upper arrow key to activate the compass. It will point north no matter where you are. Man, I really appreciate it, Tiago. It's fine. I'm just glad you like it. Oh, I see you already have drinks to celebrate your reunion. We couldn't leave without a toast. Let me get one, too. So, what were you going to say? I'll tell you when we get back from the temple. I'm back. Okay, great atmosphere here. Cheers, I guess. Cheers. Saúde. Hold on, Alex. <laughs> You're okay, Alex? Are you trying to get me blind drunk or what? Welcome to Brazil, I guess. Whew, well, I'm not so tired anymore, that's for sure. You bet. Where are you parked, Thiago? Just outside the market. Great, let's go. We'll brief you on the way. Damn it. It's starting to rain. Yeah, apparently there's a storm brewing this afternoon. So, you're part of an organization, right? I am. There are only eight members left, but we fight to save whatever can still be saved. Yeah, you know. and you're not having talks with Harambe Wood? Having talks with Harambe Wood? No. Talking isn't what they do. Let's say it's better to keep away from them. They're quite dangerous. It's that bad, huh? A friend of mine is currently missing. Pretty sure Harambe made it happen, but unless I have proof, what about you? You're an old friend of Laura's, right? Is that all I am to you? You're a Mayan expert, mostly. Hopefully you can tell us more about this temple. Unless it's not a Mayan temple. In that case, I'm afraid I wouldn't be of any help. We'll see when we get there. Be careful. I'm opening the fence. This way, come on. Get in the car, Alex. Press backspace to change the view shared in streamer mode. Press enter. We'll be there in five minutes. Then, we'll look for a way to go in. The front entrance is sealed off. I hope we'll find what we're looking for. It'd be one of the best days of my life. Take that around me. Talk about fine weather, huh? Maybe today isn't a good day to go. Hmm. Do you want to turn back? We'll be there in five minutes. It'd be a shame. The last time you said that... It's okay, Laura. All right. Are you good driving, Jago? You don't want to get stuck or anything. No chance. Remember, you are in an SUV with the best driver you could ask for. Go on, then. Hang on tight, Alex. We're going on a bumpy ride. There are tire marks here. I hope they are from our guys. Did they say they would come? No, but nobody would come here by accident. Anyway, we are about to find out soon enough. What was that? I don't know, but it's coming from the temple. It sounded like an explosion. Loud enough for us to hear it in the pouring rain? Damn, it's just after the stern. What the hell could it be? I don't know, but it, it seems like... <laughs> Uh, Are you all right? Uh, I, I'm all right. Chiago? Chiago! Wake up! What's wrong? He's not breathing. The car is over there. We need to bounce. Can't leave Chiago. They got him. And they're coming to get us too. Spare your bullets. They might already be dead. We need to move. The door is blocked. Run. Quick. Go get some help. We've got a survivor. Shoot him. Get them away from here if you want to be of any help. Okay. Fuck! He's getting away! Kill him! 
I can't die here. He's over there. He won't be able to run for long. Leave me the fuck alone. During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. They're getting closer. Whoa, whoa. Where is he? He can't just disappear. <laughs> they didn't see me fall. I thought I was done for. Oh, Alex! Laura? I can barely hear you. Where are you? On the other side. There's a small crack. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Me too. How did you lose them? They saw you running away, so they started chasing you. I, I waited a bit, and then I escaped. I'm glad I listened to you and left. How many of them were there? I wouldn't know. They went where I thought you were and hid there. Who are these guys? I don't know. Traffickers, maybe? Oh, Chiago explored the area around the temple and said no one else was around. So, it must have something to do with the temple, right? How did they know? Why did they shoot us? Remember that taxi driver I told you about earlier? What about him? He asked me a lot of questions about what I was doing here. I kept repeating to him that I couldn't talk about it, but he pressured me and he locked the doors. So what did you say? That there was this temple in the middle of the forest and that it could prevent more deforestation. I'm... I'm so sorry. Are you out of your mind? Honestly! Okay, slow down. What was I supposed to do? Get myself killed? No. Of course not. Believe me. I already blame myself for Tiago's death. I don't need you to lay it on thick. I know. I'm so sorry. Okay, what do we do now? There's the small path behind you. Try to go forward and I'll find a passage to meet you. Alright, be careful. Okay. Looks like I'm getting there. What's that sound? Alan! Ah! Coming! Over here! <laughs> I thought it was them. What's that sound? Uh, I don't know. But I think I found the entrance. There's this huge stone door. With some strange rectangular spirals on it? Yeah, that's it. We found uh, it. But wait, let me try to open it. Huh? It's jammed. 
Oh, no. The noise. Is it coming from the door? Uh, yeah. Why? It can't be a coincidence. It has to be a riddle or something. What kind of riddle? The kind of tests you see in the movies. Okay, Indiana. You have an idea? Maybe we should try and reproduce the rhythm. You might want to try it with your beacon. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Press shift to activate the beacon. Like a radar, the beacon detects where you are according to its position. The closer you get to it, the more spaced out the beacon beeps are. However, the closer you get to it, the more frantic the beeps are. Press shift to retrieve the beacon. Oh, look! The door! It's opening! <laughs> Always trust Indiana. <laughs> Don't be silly. Follow me. Press enter to go to the next level. <laughs> Fuck. It's locked now. Laura? Shh, 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 shh. Calm down. Locked in. And it's pitch black. Hey, everything is fine. I'm gonna find a way, okay? Stay here, keep an eye on my stuff, and rest a bit. And remember to breathe. Okay. Tell me if you find anything. I'll go check if there's another door. Huh. What's that? Laura? Did you find anything? Yeah. There's a door here. It's closed. There's this big lock, but no key. We'll see if we find one later. Okay, what's this? It looks like a door, but I can't find a handle. Alex? Anything new? Yeah, there's this sort of door without a handle. I bet there's some kind of mechanism or something to unlock it. Oh my god. It's a nightmare. We're bloody lab rats. I'm gonna find us a way to get out of here. Okay. This melody. What is it? It's coming from another room. Come. I can't see. I won't be able to find you. Don't move. Just turn on the beacon. I'll go to you instead. Alex. I'm here. Keep the beacon with you. This way I can find you if you get lost. Thank you. Come on, follow me. We're gonna go to the other room. Rats, I guess. Bloody lab rats. <laughs> I told you. That's what we are. For now, let... Did you just do that? I guess. I just walked on it. Huh. I feel like it's all about the slabs. They activate when they're locked on. Let me try something out. I think the melody we're hearing is made up of all these notes. Thanks. Some light, finally! Now I can help you if you need me. Splendid! Take the lead. Press enter. Oh, shit. I'm so sick of this goddamn temple. You want to take a break? Yeah. My legs have turned to jelly by now. Sit down. Here, have some water. Thanks. Uh, hey. I... I'm so sorry for bringing you into all this. Don't be. How could you have known? I know, but it's still my fault if you're trapped in here. Hey, whatever happens, what we're doing here, it's important. So don't beat yourself up, okay? It's far more important than you can imagine. For me, at least. Can you smell that? Ugh, makes me sick. What is it? Oh, I'm going to... Shh! Hold on, hold on. Uh -huh. Stop. 
What is it? Can you hear that? Can I hear what? Can't you hear something breathing? I can. Uh, I think I saw something pass by over there. What was it? I think it had two red eyes. <laughs> there! 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 I saw it again. We are screwed. What is that thing? Shh! Alex! Are you okay? What was that? Did you see it? I did. It looks like a mix between a dog and some kind of giant lizard. But it didn't see me, right? It must be blind or something. In that case, we better be quiet. Okay. I'll go first. Very slowly. And I'll tell you when to join me. Over here. Hold on. I'm here. Come, stop. I'm right here. Hold on. Over here. Found you. Here, Alex. Hold on. Psst. Come. Over. I'm here. I'm right here, Alex. Over here. Stop. I'm right here, Alex. Hold Found you. I'm here. I'm right here, Alex. Over here. Stop. Psst. Come. Found you. Holy shit! Ugh. Oh no! No! Hey, no! You nasty beast! You can hear that beacon, can't you? No! Ugh. Go fetch the backpack! Fuck! It's coming back! I need to turn off the beacon. I found the backpack. I need to find a way out. I think I should follow this draft.
Run! 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 Press Enter to go. During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. There. Shoot it! What's that? This door holds. Fire? There's something cooking. Ow! What is this? A tent? I must be in a camp. Here we go. Open up. It's no use. I'm worn out. I've got to eat something. What's on the menu? Ah. Mm. Mm. Much better. I can keep the knife. I might need it later. Ugh, I'm thirsty. Where's the backpack? So, I don't want the beacon to go nuts this time. What is this? A flask? God, what's that smell? Why does she even have this in her backpack? What is this stone? The engraving is... Mayan. <sighs> There's a woman giving birth. That shape. It looks like a sacrifice made in honor of Apuch, the god of death. They're taking out a living man's heart with a blade. What? This is so weird. I think Apuch is begging the man to eat the heart. The man kills him. He just killed death itself. It seems like a prophecy about immortality. What is Laura doing with this? Oh, I'm so sleepy, but I can't fall asleep here. I can't.
Stop. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, yeah. You're nice, huh? <laughs> you just took me out of the worst nightmare I've ever had. What's your name? What if I call you... Nietzsche. You like it? <laughs> of course. You're hungry, aren't you? Where are you going? Wait up! Hey, slow down, Nietzsche! Oh, you found a way out. Good dog. Yeah, good boy. Go ahead, I'll be right behind you. It's so narrow. Whew. Okay, just a few more steps. Finally. Oof, my back. <laughs> you like being petted, huh? Okay, let's go. Oh no, the door is closed. During a lock picking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. During a lock picking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. During a lock picking phase, use the A and D keys to point your tool to the left or right. Move towards the clicking sound in order to lift the latch. Come on, Nietzsche. Follow me. This wall has something engraved on it. Let's see what I can decipher. It looks like some kind of fresco. Ha! <laughs> this is where it starts. What do we have here? There are men fighting with spears. Those who surrender are brought into some kind of temple. They form a circle around the scaffold. One of them has its head cut off. His head is passed around so the rest can drink from it? What are these two stones? There's a symbol on each one. On the first one there's some kind of god drinking. And on the other, there's a man burning a village with children in it. I think I have to choose? What do you think, Nietzsche? So I should press the stone with the god on it? Yeah, it makes sense. Some sort of human sacrifice as an offering to the gods. It was fairly common at that time. Well, I guess I did something, right? What's next? Now it's another kind of rite with children. A man stands with a knife in his hand. I think it's the one on Laura's tablet. He's cutting the children's arms and their blood is spilling into two bowls with inscriptions on them. It's glyphs, symbolizing a color. So it's all about the color of their blood. The children with red blood are... Mm, 
Outcasts? And... Oh, more slabs are coming out. Here, it's a skull. And on the other, there's a cross at the bottom right and a triangle at the center. Uh, should I press the stone with the skull on it? No, that could be it, but I don't know. Maybe that sort of map is the real answer. I guess the triangle stands for a temple, and the cross is for the place they went to. Given that we're about a thousand miles southeast from Chichen Itza, some might have survived and migrated here. Another sacrificial rite, but it's not a beheading this time. They rip the heart out of a man's chest and feed it to another man who's bedridden and coughing a lot. The man rises up and goes out to kill... A pooch? What I gather from the fresco and the tablet is that the Mayans defied death a number of times. Oh, here are the engraved stones. There's a man coming from the sky, and right here there are several skulls crossed out. So, was this man considered a prophet because he healed so well? It makes no sense. Healing so well wouldn't make him a prophet. Well, that leaves me with the crossed out skulls. Could that be it? I think that this new sacrifice made this man immortal. And something tells me he wasn't the only one. What do we have here? Sacrifices are forbidden. And so is procreation. Because... I can't decipher this glyph. I hope the two stones can help me understand. The first one shows hearts that are ripped out, and the second one shows a group of people. I think this might represent the common good as opposed to every man for himself. Did they all just lose it and search for a way to become immortal? I guess most people would do so if they were given the opportunity. <laughs> Even today. So, what do we have here? There's a war between two Mayan leaders with a crossed-out skull above them. The loser is captured by the other. Then there's a sacrificial rite with the loser. Wait, he's supposed to be immortal, right? What, he died? How? I don't get it. They manage to be immortal, but they still find ways to kill one another? Or maybe they can't die of sickness or old age, but they can still be killed by someone. Now, the first one pictures a leader above several villages. Damn. And on the second one, it's the Chupacabra. Does it mean that the leader became so powerful, he put all the Mayans under his authority? I don't know. Did he turn into... I think he is the Chupacabra. It sounds unbelievable, but at this point, it wouldn't be crazier than the rest. All right. Next. <coughs> Go fetch what just fell. Good dog, Nietzsche. You're a good dog. That's right. How can such a cute little thing like you be with such douchebags? Hey, what did you bring me? Is that a key? It looks like it's missing parts. Now, what can I do with it? All right. How about we get out of here? Where are you taking me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nietzsche, stop. I'm fine. Calm down. That was a close one. Sorry I yelled at you. I don't know what I would have done without you. Do you know where we should go? Okay. I trust you on this one. Let's go. I'm right behind you. There. Go on now. I'm here. Good job, Nietzsche. I'm here. You want to keep going?
Okay, let's keep going. there's another path to come back. Again? Go fetch! So, what did you bring me? Another piece of the key? Okay, can you help me find a way out now? Wait up! Yeah, good job. Let's keep going. What is it? Did you see something? There's a ditch, right? I see. I don't really have a choice, do I? Be careful, Nietzsche. Help me! Well, looks like you saved me. I promise you, if we get through this, you're coming home with me. <laughs> Seems like you're into that. All right, we have a deal. One last room, you ready? We have a key to put together. Can you help me get there? What's happened? Nietzsche, where are you? Was, is, is the ground moving? What is this? The walls are closing in on me. I need to follow Nietzsche, like now. During an action phase, use the A and D keys to move left or right. Paused. Resume. Dreamer mode. Resume. They're slowing down. I thought I was done for. I'd be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, cool. There's another key piece over there. Go fetch. Thanks, little guy. You are really stealing my heart, Nietzsche. It has to be the last piece of the key. What now? Where are you going, Nietzsche? Wait up! Nietzsche! Stop! What's he up to? There's something coming! <gasps> you bloody idiot! Shit! What the hell was he doing here anyway? Oh, cause you couldn't look up just to see what it was before oh, shooting him? I didn't feel like dying. What's wrong with that? You jackass. Okay. Damn it. Come. I need a place Let's to hide out. Let's go see where he was coming from. Yeah. Alpha 2 3 to leader. We found a dead dog close to the campment, and there's a passage nearby. You want us to investigate? Yeah, the chick is tied up anyway, so go check it out. If it's the blind guy, shoot him dead, you hear me? Copy that, Leader. We're on the move. Oh, so now you're lying to Leader 2? Go in front. 
I don't want to take a bullet just because you freaked out. Come on, get over it. And you better not report it to anyone. No, I'm a grave. Let's go. I'll be right behind you. As if you didn't freak out? Yeah, I did. But at least I'm not here shooting any damn thing that moves. Yeah? Well, at least I'm not shooting blanks like you, asshole. With your mom, it's never been an issue. <sighs> Nietzsche. Shit. No. Tiago. And now Nietzsche. Motherfuckers. I hope the chupacabra gets you all. I have to find Laura before they come back. Alex! Shh. Keep your voice down. Oh, help me with these chains, would you? Thank you. You can't begin to imagine how glad I am to see you. <sighs> yeah, me too. I wasn't sure you made it. The thing with the two red eyes. It went after me before I turned back. I kept running and I fell into this trap. Then they brought me here. Why didn't they kill you like Tiago? They told me they were looking for you because you killed two of their guys. But I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> I guess they wanted to use me as leverage to lure you in. Okay, we've got to move before they come back. Yeah, also... I heard them talking about a load of explosives. Damn it! All the more reason to bounce. Quick! Yeah. Come, follow me. Let's go back to where I first entered the area. Hey, about those gunshots earlier. What happened? There was this dog I found after we got separated. <laughs> he saved my life, but he got shot on our way back. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Poor Nietzsche. And what did you do exactly? First, let's get out of here. Okay. Do you want me to carry the backpack? No, it's fine. You sure? With the beacon, the bottle, and a few other things in there. It's heavy. A few other things, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Where's the girl? Oh, shit. She escaped. She must Damn have it. gone this right way. Right behind us. Come on. Is there any light? Uh, just a flashlight. Turn it off. Quick. Okay. Keep quiet and come with me. <laughs> you think that's smart, huh? Running away with no idea where you're going. Go... I heard something. Right over oh, here. Shit. Please. There's two Wait. of them. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> we got him good. <laughs> you think that's smart, huh? Running away with no idea where you're going. Go. I think I have some. The two oh, of them. Shit. They're here. Please. Wait. Don't. Yeah. <laughs> we got them good. <laughs> you think that's smart, huh? Running away with no idea where you're going. Go. I heard something. I think I saw something move over there. Don't shoot unless you're Was sure this you? time. Ah, uh, screw you. I think I, think I, I have just saw something. I heard Was something. You? Finally lost him. Okay, go. I'll close the door behind us. Press enter to go. <sighs> Thanks for getting me out of there. Yeah. I don't think it's the door I took when I got here. You never came here? I don't think so. There's only a staircase in front of us. It's lit up. You want to check it out? Let's go. What's happening, Alex? It feels like... Aren't you happy to see me? 
Yeah, of course I am. But I'd like to understand what's going on here. I don't get it either. I'm so sorry that I... Please, stop. Just stop messing with me. Okay? Please, just stop. What? What did I do? Really? You don't know? No, I don't... The stone tablet in your backpack. Uh, yeah, I found it. Uh, when we got separated near the car. Uh, before we tried to open the temple's door, I took another path and stumbled across it. And you didn't think I should know about it? Of course I did, but then we found the temple and it all happened so fast. I got caught up in the moment. Then this beast attacked us and... Yeah, sure, whatever. So you managed to find a tablet in pristine condition just outside waiting for you? Yeah, I mean, no. It was hidden in some kind of shelter. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm not lying. So, did you try decrypting it? Press enter to answer positively, and backspace to answer negatively to the question asked. Yeah, I tried. Oh, okay. Uh, can you tell me what it said then? It's about a sacrificial rite. They were taking a man's heart right out of his chest to become immortal. Really? Yeah. Why do you look so interested? No. I mean, it's just some delirious myth if you ask me. Yeah. We're up the stairs now. Okay. Can you see anything? Uh, there's a door. It's half open. Be careful. No one here, but hold on, move back. I think we're back at the entrance of the temple. You sure? Yeah. You said there was a huge lock, right? Yeah, on the wooden door. Go ahead. I'll be right behind you. <sighs> it's locked. I have the keys. You do? In the backpack. It's three pieces you have to put together. Where on earth did you find these? I explored a bit when I was with Nietzsche, and I found them in a room full of trials, okay? Anyway, here. Go on, open it. This is... What? What is it? Some kind of torture chamber. Oh, I thought we were in danger. No, we're not, but it's creepy as hell. Well, we're about to find out what's in store for us. Tell me if you find something on your side. I'll start looking myself. Sure, whatever. What do we have here? Several bowls of different sizes on the ground. Human hair. I read somewhere that they used hair to stitch wounds. Knives made out of elder. Probably the ones represented on the tablet and on the fresco. You found anything interesting? Nothing but medical equipment. You? No, nothing. What is this pot? Injection hot disease? Cold disease. Laura? There are bones here. Human bones? Yeah, several skulls. I think I know where we are. In a doctor's room? More of an experiment and sacrifice room. Oh, Lord. Given the room we're in, there must be other things we can find. Like what? I don't know. Notes from the experiments. Stuff like that. Hey, I think you're right. There are three cells here. Are they open? No. They're closed. Hold on. Let me try to pick the locks. Where are they? Right here. There you go. I see you still got it. Let me know if you find anything in there. I'll open the other two. Okay. One to go. Did you find anything? Nothing but bones. The second door is open. I'll get the last one. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Laura, I got it. Laura? Hey, how about an answer? Huh? Oh, sorry about that. You find anything? I found a tablet, but I can't understand a thing. Let me see. It's some kind of diagram about how to extract the membrane around the heart of a man. The pericardium? If you extract it with a knife made of elder, and then eat it, it can cure any disease. And you think it's true? Honestly, the tablet that's in your backpack talks about immortality, too. And I haven't told you, but I also found a fresco that explains a lot. So I think it's real enough. How amazing would that be? Can you imagine? We could save thousands of lives, including sick children and people with cancer. Yeah, it would be amazing to cure any disease, don't get me wrong. But you still need to kill someone to get a pericardium. <sighs> yeah, I know. Let me check the last cell to see if I find anything. And maybe you can try to find another way out? Okay. Tell me if you find anything. Uh, sure thing, Alex. Here, I found a way out. I'm coming, don't move. Too bad I didn't find anything else, huh? It's fine. Are you sure you're okay? Oh, yeah, never better. <laughs> Follow me. We're in this huge cemetery now. It's the necropolis. Do you mind if I take a quick break to drink something? Sure. Here, have some. It will make you feel so much better. Thanks. Mmm. Oh, the water tastes oh, really bad. Really? Uh, but you had some anyway, right? Yeah. What's with the long face? You know, Alex, even if I didn't keep in touch with you, our love story six years ago, I've never forgotten it. She reminds me every day that... What do you mean? What are you talking about? I hope you'll understand. It's not against you. It's for her. She's only five. She doesn't deserve what's happening to her. What? But, Laura... <laughs> oh. Oh. What the... Oh. I'm so sorry, Alex. I, I feel... Oh. I'm too... So, what's the origin for you to get there without knowing where you go? We found a temple in the forest. It might be Maya. Yeah. yeah. Almost six. <laughs> Alex, I'm so glad you're here. Since we came back from the Caribbean, I had personal stuff to deal with. You're an old friend of Laura's, right? Oh, 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 oh shit! No! He's only five. <laughs> Alex, I'm here. It's far more important than you can imagine. So right, finally. Now I can help you if you need me. I found a tablet, but I can't understand. What is this? Food. A flask? It's not against God, you. What's that it's smell? Her. Why does she even have this in her back? The man kills him. He just killed death itself. I promise you, if we get through this, you're coming home with me. I don't get it either. I'm so sorry that I... How amazing would that be? Can you imagine? We could save thousands of lives. Including sick children and people with cancer. And you think it's true? <coughs> Damn. Laura. I get it now. I'm begging you. Answer me. God damn it. I have to find her. Now. There's a draft here.
This noise again? It's the one I heard when I entered the temple. Laura? The closer I get, the stronger the wind blows. The riddle with the slabs again? I should walk on the right notes. Got him. Press enter to go. Tie him up and search him. Okay, boss. Ah, ah. Hello, you. What do you want How from me? How about you shut the fuck up first? I'm asking the questions from now on. Got it? <coughs> you little <coughs> shit. <coughs> do that again, and I'll make sure it's the last fucking thing you ever do. Am I funny to you? No, you're not. Go and stand guard. Yes, boss. What are two shitbirds like you doing here? Are you part of the same organization as the other douche I killed out there? Yeah, we were exploring the forest. That's all we were doing. And we ran into you and that's it. I just want to leave and forget all about this. You know too much anyway. Where's the girl? You let her loose, didn't you? No, I didn't. And I don't know where she is. Oh yeah? Well, your girlfriend shot two of my guys and their dog. The chupacabra killed your men, and it was actually the two guys right there that shot the dog. So you were there, you douchebag. But for some reason you didn't let her loose, right? The chupacabra killed your men, and it was actually the two guys right there that shot the dog. <gasps> and why would these guys shoot one of our dogs, huh? Does it even matter if I tell you? I'm asking the questions. What's this chupabraca? It looks like an animal, but it's not as simple as that. Go on. Well, you're gonna think I'm fucking with you. I said go on. Basically, it's a guy that killed so many people, he turned into this beast that eats anything that's in its way. I know it sounds crazy, but the Mayans found a way to become immortal, with sacrifices. You're messing with me now, aren't you? No, I promise, it's the truth. You know what the sad thing is? That you can't properly say Chupacabra? You're not so funny now, are you? I have no other questions or any reason to let you live. Wait. Wait for what? For you to screw me with another story? You're not getting out alive anyway. And your girlfriend is about to go kaboom with the rest of the temple. But I'm telling you the truth. I don't like wasting my time, so... Please, I'm begging you. There, did you hear that? What was that? The chupacabra. It's coming. You, go on and see what that was. Why me? Hurry, moron. I'm going... We need to leave. You're not going anywhere. Please, listen. It's here! Shit! Untie me, and I'll get you out of here. I can't see! Where are you? Here, hurry. Is there another way out? You hear the water? It's an underground river. It can lead us outside. Okay, stay quiet and follow me.
Almost there. Go on. The bastard's gonna kill me. I need to come up with something. Why do you stop? Throw your weapon. What did you say? I said throw it. I'll kill you. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm saving my own skin. Right here! Son of a bitch! Nice try, but <laughs> too bad it can't swim, right? And too bad that I have one bullet left. I won't tell anybody about what I found. Please. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. There won't be much left. Your girlfriend will be blown up and left in tiny bits. But you, lucky bastard, you know what's no, coming to please. you. Come on, let's count together. No, Three, please, no. two, one. Wake up! Laura? But he shot. I shot him. What? I killed him. But why did it's you- It's over. Let me explain. You must wonder where I was for six years. And what I meant by I had some personal stuff to deal with is that I had- A little girl. What? How do you know this? When you poisoned me, I heard her calling me dad, crying and coughing. That's when I figured it out. Figured what out? Everything. Why you brought me here in the first place? Why you had that tablet with you? When Chiago sent me a picture of this tablet, I wasn't sure if I should come here. But then... The doctors told me they'd stop providing medical care for June. So, I contacted a private group and they financed the expedition in exchange for the cure I might find here. June? Like our grandma's? It's the first idea that popped into my head when I knew she would come. She's mine then? She is. But you told me time and again that you didn't see yourself with a child, so I thought it'd be better to raise her alone without telling you. I know I couldn't have been a great dad, but if I had known... At least I could have been there. Maybe. But I don't regret anything. Up until last summer, I was as happy as I could be. What's wrong with June? She's ill, Alex. Seriously ill. She has very weak muscles and more and more trouble breathing. She's gonna die then? Not necessarily, no. It could be a miracle. 
If we use what we found here. Laura, when we split up to run from the Chupacabra, I found a fresco that explained how the Mayan civilization came to disappear. <sighs> Why are you talking about this? As soon as people knew there was a way to become immortal, they started killing each other. So what? Can't you see? If you ever tell that private group about what you found here, they'll try and make money off of it. And it won't be long before the situation gets out of control. Come on. People are not that stupid. Aren't they? They killed Tiago. And now they're trying to kill us too. Just to keep making money. Even if this means destroying the very forest they breathe from. So what should I do then? Let my daughter die? Huh? No. Do you even realize what it implies? Killing someone to save your daughter? Are you serious right now? It's our daughter! Yeah, I'm very serious. Look what you did to me in the encampment. If all it takes to be immortal is to kill someone else, can you imagine? It'll be pure chaos. You can't stop me from saving my daughter. Wait. Listen to me before you leave. Think about what kind of world June will grow up in. You can design her future. Will you stop moralizing me? The world is already destroying itself. You said it yourself. I gave birth to her. I won't let her die now. Laura. I know you're scared, but it's your daughter we're talking about. I know. I, I just... Shit. The temple. Your choice. Are you coming with me to save her? I... Yeah. I'm coming. Give me your hand. Thanks. Let's go. We leave and save our daughter now. Our daughter. <laughs> it's so weird now that you say it. Get used to it. You think we're gonna make it? I'm sure we are. And she's going to adore you. You'll see. But she might not understand who I am, though. Oh, don't worry about that. She already knows a bunch of stuff about you. <laughs> what? You told her about me? Yeah. She loves it when I tell her about our adventures. June? Mom? Hi, sweetie. How are you doing? I'm good. It doesn't hurt everywhere anymore. Oh, that's great, sugar. Who's he? It's your daddy. Hi, June. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I told you she couldn't wait to meet you. Oh, oh, oh. Can you tell me a story? Oh, uh, well, I, uh... June. Daddy can tell you a story when we get home, okay? Yeah! Since the transhumanist laboratories announced that ingesting a human pericardium resulted in immunization to diseases and no aging, the price of pericardiectomy has rocketed from $30,000 to $500,000. As a result of the sharp increase in the prices, many murders with heart removal have been registered around the world. Our reporter, Fanny Bernerot, is joining us from the place where one of these gruesome murders occurred. Fanny, here is where a whole family was murdered, right? Yes in front of the house owned by the Richards, a whole family killed by their neighbor during the night. This killing is just one of the many that are currently listed in the city of... The Senate met today in a crisis unit, following the increasing murder rate in the country. This cannot go on. After speaking to all the secretaries of state, the president will announce a national state of urgency tomorrow as well as the deployment of the army to restore calm in our cities. From this day onwards, it is prohibited to leave your house unless you are specifically invited to by an army soldier. Whoever is outside their home without being escorted by the army will be shot down without any warning. Unfortunately, our neighboring countries did not have time to take similar measures, resulting in civil disobedience. I will not allow it. My dear fellow citizens, we are at war, and only compliance with these rules can make us win collectively. I will give a new speech to keep you informed of further developments. Look after yourselves and your loved ones. Thank you for playing Lost in Linus, developed with passion by the member of Unseen Interactive, Florian Noir, Thomas Pilling, and Hugo Villazzolti. As Alex, Blake Farah, as Laura, Rachel Meyer as a taxi driver Michael Berry as a militia leader Tim Wells as Thiago Pedro Daer in various minor roles Jessica Allen Jacobs Luke Dumain Alt Zavi and for all the game menus Ryan Michael Connolly localization Diane Clarissou and Julien Alexandri thanks to Loïc Bernaro Sandra Bernaro Antoine Allo Eloi Fromanger-Gonin to our dear playtasters, as well as Magla, Inae, 
Kira, Master Snaku, Seros, Karal, Farod, Super Brioche, Zampil, Legacy Angel, and all the video games fans who played Lost in Blindness, sharing it with their communities. Also, special thanks to the hundreds of people who contributed to our crowdfunding, it's you that made this adventure possible. Your participation allows the visual impaired to discover an adventure entirely adapted to them, while it is also a chance for sighted people to enjoy a social and highly unusual experience. Main menu. Continue game. Dreamer mode. Option chapters. Select the chapter you want to play. Ch chapter 19. Heart or reason. Chapter 18. Pop quiz. Chapter 17. Gone with the wind. Chapter 16. Fear and loathing in Amazonia. Chapter 15. What's up, doc? Chapter 14. Tread lightly. Chapter 13. Speed. Chapter 12, Courage. Chapter 11, Ingenuity. Chapter 10, Fast Asleep. Chapter 9, Uncharted Territory. Chapter 8, Run Alex Run. Chapter 7, Red Handed. Chapter 6, Move Your Feet. Chapter 5, Indiana Alex. Chapter 4, Manhunt. Chapter 3, Market Day. Chapter 2, Time Flies By. Chapter 1, an old friend. Main menu. Continue. Leave game. Yes, manager. 